Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is going to be a general reading for um, Scorpio. If you have Scorpio in your chart, then um, this reading may or may not resonate with you. Please do not force the message. So let's um, say a prayer before we even get into the reading. I'll be kind of slacking on the prayers, saying the prayers before reading. So here we go. Dear God, please bring peace, love, and light into this space. Keep me and my viewers protected and take away any words and thoughts. Only allow high vibrational souls onto this channel. We thank you for the healing that has already been given and for your ultimate divine protection. Thank you. So let's see what comes up for you, um, Scorpio. The readings have been really good so far. So let's see what we get for Scorpio. Okay, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay, one card, one card. No, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take any um like timing because that one was like a year from now. What messages do you have for Scorpio? What messages? Okay, so we have ask for help from others right here. Ask for help from others. Let's see what else we get. What other messages do you have for Scorpio? What other Okay, so we got two cards. I'm only pulling three cards. Well, I'm going to do remain positive. So ask for help from others. Remain positive. Give me one more for Scorpio. Okay, look for a sign. And we got opportunity. I've been seeing this opportunity card come out. Um, I think Pisces had this one too. So we got remain positive right here and then you guys have looked for a sign i believe this came out in your last i think it was like the urgent reading or something that i did so let's pull the energy oracle card give me one for a scorpio so it seems like you guys are still looking for a sign or something or Let's see what's going on. Give me one for Scorpio. Okay, we got the first chakra. So this could be about stability. Um, this we got. Okay, so you guys have the first chakra. I mean, yeah, the first chakra, Archangel Michael. So he's all about the root chakra, that base chakra where um, um, it's the chakra where you feel. That's all about stability, um, security. So whatever this sign is that I feel like you guys are looking for, and we got X help from others. So this could be some type of support. Um, this could definitely be dealing with your finances too. I feel like for some of you guys, especially with this first chakra coming out. So for some of you guys, you could this could be the sign that you were looking for. And then we got opportunity at the bottom of the deck. So if you have not already um, received this sign or this information, this opportunity, um, this message is telling you to remain positive because I feel like there's some type of support that's coming in for you or like an opportunity that you've been looking for. What is look for a sign? Whatever this opportunity is, it's going to, um, or this support, it's going to um, provide you some type of security or stability. Yeah, and then we got um, take action. That's below opportunity. So take action. So the sign that you guys could have been looking for could come in as some type of opportunity. But I feel like it could be like a person because we got asked ask for help from others and you know what else i'm getting too for some of you guys you may um whatever it is is i feel like for some of you guys you may not be asking other people for help 
But I feel like you're needing to. It's like, don't be scared to ask other people for help. Because it's like, almost like maybe that's how you're going to get the sign or the opportunity. But for some of you guys, it's like you're needing possibly to take action. Like, ask other people for help. Let's see what ask for help from others is. Clarify ask for help from others. Yeah, see, the Wheel of Fortune card came out. For some of you guys, I feel like you do have, like, what remain positive coming out in your reading. For some of you guys, with this Devil card being at the bottom of the deck, for some of you guys, you're, um... I don't want to say you guys are in a negative space, but below this deck right here, at the bottom of the deck, we have Deceit. For some of you guys, it's like you could be deceiving yourselves about some type of opportunity or your current situation. But we got the Wheel of Fortune card. This is something is changing with this Wheel of Fortune card. I feel like this is some sort of opportunity or help that's coming in for someone. It's like something, that you, a sign that you've been looking for to provide you some type of stability or um, security. I feel like this is finance for finances for someone. So something is definitely shifting here um, with someone's security, um, you being stable, stability. But I feel like for some of you guys with this devil card being at the bottom of the deck, you have some sort of like self-limiting beliefs with this devil card being at the bottom of the deck and i feel like for some of you guys it's like you need to um change your mindset remain positive even if you have not received this opportunity or the stability this security clarify ask for help from others please yeah take action look we got the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck and then we got the king of wands somebody definitely needs to take action towards um Asking, asking other people for help or um, getting some type of support. Because with the Wheel of Fortune card, it's like things are going to shift for you. It's like an opportunity for you to, um, to receive help or um, get some sort of stability or uh, security. I don't, you can just apply this to whatever... However, this resonates because this could be like multiple things for people. This could be this could be like a job, um, like a living situation. Clarify, remain positive. Clarify, remain positive. Yeah, okay, so we have the Seven of Wands that came out for Remain Positive. For some of you guys, I feel like this is about your beliefs. For some people, I feel like you need to change your... Um... Now, I'm not saying that you need to change your beliefs, but we got the Herifant card at the bottom of the deck. I feel like for some of you guys, it's like you could be, I feel like for some, for some of you guys, you are standing your ground. You're like, you're fighting for, um, for what you want. Somebody's really fighting for stability, being secure. So you could be wanting, uh, financial security. Cause like when the first chakra, that base chakra, the root chakra is like unbalanced, you don't feel safe. So, for some of you guys, it's like you're really fighting for this. But I feel like this is somebody blocking help, too. So, for some of you guys, you need to, like, let your guard down. Like, just... Now, don't change your values. Like, don't... um Don't change your... um Your values that you have within yourself. Like, don't do that for some type of opportunity or help. I feel like this is positive help 
come before someone, but it's almost like you may be needing to um, maybe shift your mindset. Clarify, remain positive. Clarify, remain positive. Okay, so this could be about some type of connection. Somebody that you have an emotional bond with. So this could be another person. And we, we did see the, the hair fine. So... This could also be some type of business connection, too. I don't want to make this, like, into a love reading, but we got the two of cups that came out. For some of y'all, you could be fighting for some connection, somebody that you have an emotional bond with. Um, Let's see what look for a sign is. Clarify look for a sign. But you know what? I'm seeing this, too. With this two of cups, for some of you guys, you need to stop, like, being so um, defensive about your situation and just learn how to connect with people. With this two of cups, I feel like with this two of cups, I'm looking at as someone, like, trusting someone with this two of cups. And it's coming in under remain positive. So, yeah, for some of y'all, because I know some Scorpios, like, don't take offense to this, but it's like y'all have trust issues. And I look at this Two of Cups because it's coming in um, next to the the Seven of Wands. It's like, stop being so um, guarded and learn how to, like, connect with people. Um, not really learn how to connect with people. It's just, like, just learn how to, like, trust other people yeah and then we got the, the five of swords i just realized this was at the bottom of the deck <sighs> clear if i look for a sign So, um, Scorpio, I feel like for some of you guys, I don't know if you're looking for a sign or like, cause in that, that urgent reading that I did, it was almost like you guys were, um, waiting for like a, um, like a, okay, whatever the sign is that you were looking for or waiting for, it was almost like a, okay for you to, um, possibly make some kind of offer with this page of cups or some type of apology. And I feel like whatever this is, it's like it's coming in as a surprise. Some of you guys could be done with the Pisces. Let me not say Pisces in y'all reading. Sorry about that. Just forget what I just said. But um, <laughs> we got the Page of Cups. I feel like whatever this sign is, it's coming in as a surprise. But you know what? For some of you guys, it's like you've been like somebody been real focused on this sign whatever this is that you may even miss it whatever this sign is it's like i feel like it's gonna come up like out of the blue with this page of cups clear if i look for a sign Yeah, see, this is something you've been waiting for, Scorpio. This is definitely something you've been waiting for. I feel like for some of you guys, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been waiting for some type of opportunity for you to become stable. Um, some, some type of security. But I feel like for some of you guys, it's like you have trust issues. So it's like, whatever this opportunity is or like a sign, it's like, it's going to come from out of the blue. And I feel like it could be something that you're not expecting. 
whatever this is, it's like a surprise. We we'll just look for a sign. And then we got the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like for some of you guys with this uh, five of swords, For some of you guys, I feel like this is um this is definitely mental. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's like you could be thinking negative about your situation. So this is definitely telling you to remain positive. It's like you're going to get the sign or whatever you've been looking for. It's just gonna like just wait for it. Whatever you've been waiting for, it's gonna come like as a surprise. Like a so whether you get some type of like surprise news, like an email or something. What's this Will of Fortune? See, some of you guys have been worried. And I do feel like some of you guys are needing um, to find balance. Especially with the, um, the first chakra coming out. That root chakra, the base chakra. For some of you guys, you could have been feeling like off balance because maybe, <coughs> sorry about the coughing, that you didn't feel like secure or stable. That's going to change. Like you worrying about your situation because this is coming in from um, asks for help from others. But I'm also seeing this as you guys thinking something is deceptive with this, the moon card. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's like when the shift or change comes in, you're going to you're going to think that there's some type of deception or like it's um, some type of illusion that this help is some type of illusion. And then we got justice. So it's like you're going to get balance, um, like things are going to balance out for you. But I feel like you need to, like, trust this, whatever this help is, like take action towards it. What's the king of wands? lost that card see yeah we got the <laughs> look the queen of wands just came in with the king of wands see for some of you guys you need to i feel like somebody's so focused on the on this thing like whatever this um this help is that's coming in it's like you're so focused on whether or not this is like deception or some type of illusion like you think it's like false whatever this help is with this Queen of Wands, her head is turned the other way. For some of you guys, you need to shift your focus with this um this Queen of Wands. Her head is turning the opposite way of the Queen of the King of Wands. So look past this thinking that it's deceptive. Like please, like remain positive. Take action towards this opportunity. Clarify the seven of wands. Yeah, okay. See, I feel like for some of you guys, you're, um, with this page of swords, I'm looking at this as you, Scorpio, like, looking to see if this, like, trying to find something wrong with this opportunity or this help, with this page of swords being at the bottom of the deck. And then we got the two of wands. For some of you guys, I feel like you need to make this decision based, like, make a, um, decision about your future. Like, shift your focus. For some of you guys, you could be, um caught up like in the um the here and now like start thinking about the future clarify this two of cups what's the two of cups i'm not going to take that one what's the two of cups Okay, 
Okay, what's this? See, yeah. Um, <laughs> we got the Seven of Swords that came out. See, for some of you guys, I feel like you're lying about... Like, I don't know if you guys are, like, in some type of connection or it's just... Because I know Scorpios have a hard time, like, trusting people. This is coming in for a remain positive, And then it's with the Two of Cups. It's like whatever this help is or, like, this support, it could be, like, emotionally. Whatever this connection is, it's like someone thinks that someone is lying. You think it's, like, a false opportunity or help. With this Hermit card, for some of you guys, you may be needing to, like, go within with the Hermit card. But I see you guys, like, really, like, analyzing this person or, like, watching this person. This could be another person or whatever this opportunity is. But I feel like it's, like, you looking to see what's wrong with the opportunity. Like, trying to find something wrong with this opportunity or this help. What's this page of cups? So we got the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the way I'm seeing this Four of Pentacles, when I said, when I mentioned something about um whatever the sign is that you're looking for, it's going to come as a surprise. See, I feel like for some of you guys, you've been stuck on or holding on to like one idea or like one set way of how you're going to receive this sign. But like I said, it's coming in as some type of surprise because some of you guys have been waiting for it. But it's almost like um, that saying, like, a watch pot never boils. It's like you guys are just, like, waiting, but then it's like you're not. I feel like somebody's just, like, so stuck on receiving this sign or, like, this information that it's like you're not even letting the universe, like, do its work. So whenever this comes in, it's like you're thinking it's deceptive or, um someone's lying about some type of opportunity what's this three of wands what's this three of wands see somebody waiting on some type of communication we got the um the ace of swords whatever this um sign is scorpio you're going to get it with this ace of swords but I feel like it's bringing somebody, because this Ace of Swords is like truth and clarity. For most of you guys, it's bringing you clarity. Most definitely. It's almost like whatever you've been looking for, it's like you're going to get it, but stop holding. It's like someone's holding on to something like too tight. It's just like, let it come to you as a surprise. I don't know if Scorpios like surprises. I don't think you guys do, but this is how I'm seeing it. What's his Ace of Swords? Yeah, see. Okay, then we got the Page of Swords too. At the bottom of the deck again. See, I feel like for some of you guys, um, with this Page of Swords, it's like somebody's looking too hard into it. I mean, always use your um your intuition. Um, especially with this moon card coming out in your reading. But I feel like somebody's like so stuck on this thing being like a false, like something, you feel like something's false. But um, whatever this information is or this um, clarity that comes in for you, Scorpio, we got the world card that came out. So whatever this opportunity is for you, it's going to be very successful. And it's like you're going to get exactly what um, you were looking for, this sign, this clarity. I feel like it's more so clarity for someone. And I feel like it is bringing somebody some type of stability or security. So this could be with your finances or some type of relationship. I don't know. But um, whatever this is, it's going to be like very successful. So I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with someone. 
feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.